uh, Brendan on his show, The Shorb Show, where he, for the first time, basically admits that he's suing Uniques in public. Because he hasn't said it, he hasn't spoken about it, even though many YouTubers have gone after him and spoken about it and said how he's abusing, right? he's abusing copyright um, by silencing small creators and obviously being somebody as part of the LA comedy scene and attached to Rogan, you'd imagine he'd be anti-cancer culture, but obviously when people come after him, suddenly cancer culture is very convenient. So now he's suing Uniques for basically getting on his nerves because Uniques has very clickbaity titles for his videos. He obviously makes, you know, I wouldn't say does even I wouldn't even say that. No, I don't think he has clickbait his view to titles of videos. It's basically what the video how he describes it is how it basically plays out. He might have clickbait you know, in terms of getting your attention, but it's not like he he's completely misdirecting you. Like he says, Oh, this thing's happening and you watch it and it didn't happen. No, it actually happens. You know what I mean? So he didn't like what you saw on Unix channel and now he's suing him. And for the first time he actually speaks about it. And this is on his show, The Shorb Show. So let's quickly play the clip here where he speaks about it and then we can comment on the other side. Sure seems odd. Yeah, that's that's the thing with like, you know, defamation of character, stuff like that. That's even like the narrative on me, which I don't talk about with, you know, I have a lawsuit against this YouTuber who's a small time YouTuber. If you don't know the background, you're like, oh, it's this, guy who's big in the space suing the smaller guy no, no no i don't give a fuck if you want to criticize my fight picks or my stand-up my podcast that's what i'm a public figure i signed up for that that stuff does not bother me wrong he's lying he doesn't like when people criticize his fight picks he pretends like he didn't remember that thing he used to do where he kept pretending like he he picked the winner and says, yeah, I did. Te I texted him at this time. What well, is weird shit? I don't know. I don't understand why you lie about stuff like that anyway. Um, he doesn't even listen to criticism anyway because he doesn't read the comments. So it doesn't really... So all this criticism thing he's talking about that he's okay with isn't true either because you don't read the comments. You don't listen to feedback. Feedback that isn't praise to him is hating. So this is completely incorrect. But when you start slandering my name, stealing content, and creating this false narrative... Stealing content. That's within copyright, mate. He's make it's a transformative work. This is him completely abusing. And again, I'm very interested. I wonder for all the people in the chat who are experts in law way more than I am, and maybe no understand copyright. It's interesting that he keeps going on about stealing content and copyright, yet he's kind of talking about defamation of character. But from what I understand, he hasn't actually sued Unix for defamation of character. He's suing him for copyright, right? That's what he's basically getting him out for. It doesn't sound like he's going after him for defamation of character because we know it's defamation of character because we can all kind of put the pieces together and we can surmise that most likely the thing that set him off was when Unix clipped that live stream of Brendan handing some girl a note. And then I think he titled it like, oh, Brendan Shaw hands a girl a note and she's his wife or something like that, right? So obviously that set him off. But if that's defamation and that's not true, what happened, sue him for defamation. But I guess he can't because if he tries to and they get that girl to give evidence, she's going to say, yeah, he was sending me pictures of his schlong. Do you know what I mean? And you don't want that getting out there either. So maybe that's the case. I don't really understand it, but it's a very weird thing. He's talking about defamation, but then you're suing for copyright. Very strange. Narrative of cheating on my wife and doing all this crazy shit and the defamatory stuff and using content and the clickbait stuff like that for years, well, then you're, we're not playing the same game, man. Mm. Then, then I have to do something. I don't understand this. I don't get this. You're friends with Joe Rogan. You mention his name a million times. You, you flip in, you would crowbar his name into every conversation. Joe Rogan's probably got the most amount of hate from all those guys ever right because he's been, probably been around longest he does the most shows he speaks about more controversial subjects he actually goes out on a limb and has a point and stands for something even if you don't agree with it he has a position on certain things that can ruffle a few feathers here and there there was obviously a you know a um a an attack that was kind of aimed at him earlier on in the pandemic where people try to get him out of here and he kind of you know dodged and weaved it but if anyone really should be suing anyone it's joe rogan there's many people out there who put out misinformation about him or try to paint him out to be one way or maybe mischaracterize something that he said or whatever it may be. He doesn't do it. So I wonder why somebody who 
models himself after Joe Rogan and is so happy to call him his friend and say he's on the board of his company, all this sort of stuff, is doing something that Joe Rogan would never do. And he gets way more hate than Brendan does. But he just can't handle it. I wonder why. If you made an entire career off defamation, I have to do something. Several times I've no, had my don't. team reach out and go, we don't want to pursue this, dude. Just stop. And he wouldn't. So what would you do? So this narrative that, oh, this this bigger YouTuber is suing this other YouTuber for no reason to silence him. To, you know, I thought you didn't get down with cancel culture. I don't in any facet. This is different. You got you got to know your facts. You got to know your details. So this goes. The only reason I bring that because with Tony Ferguson, when you say this, DC, a guy who's a public figure and is associated with brands like myself. Yeah, yeah. And when you say cocaine use or drug use or this other stuff, it's going to affect his bottom dollar. And that's when this has to be addressed. If you want to say, oh, he has the, the shittiest fight picks or he's bad at English or, you know, I didn't like his stand up. I think Louis C.K. is better. No shit. That's fine. That's all yeah, good. That's fine. But then when, when you start going down that dark road, man, you start going down, you know, the, the, these, these clip baity things that are defamation of character for years, 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 hundreds of videos for years. Well, now you got my attention. I don't understand this. So he's saying for years, effectively, Unix has been trying to paint him out to be a cheater, which he's not. Because I don't think, what else has Unix said about Brendan that's out there? What else could he say? You know, he mispronounces words. He might lie about a story. He might inadvertently tell something that he's not meant to say, you know, on the podcast. But what would be the things that would really get on his nerves would be the fact that, you know, somebody's alleging that you cheated because that's going to affect you at home, isn't it? That's real life shit. You making up a story or maybe saying something about somebody, a comedian on a podcast, not that big of a deal. But imagine if somebody said something about you like that, which is being alleged, I can understand why he'd be upset. But why don't you sue him for defamation of character then? I don't understand this. What is this game? You're suing for copyright, but then you're complaining about defamation of character. So you're saying that what he's saying is not true, but he's not saying anything. That's also the thing that's really weird. It's not like he's saying anything. He's just posting clips. No? Isn't that what he's doing? He's just posting clips. Isn't that what he's doing? And that's the thing too that's really bizarre about this whole thing. It's not even like Unix is like the most... How, how do you say this nicely? It's not like Unix is the most... Uh, is the person that everyone wants to rally behind anyway. But somehow, Brendan has turned this into such a shit show that somebody who people should be maybe cheering for in order for, for them getting sued is now be someone people are trying to protect because he's just abusing it, isn't it? He's clearly abusing it. I don't know how far this lawsuit's going to go. Maybe it's just going to get chucked out straight away in court. I don't know. Again, I'm not really well educated in law and stuff. I don't really know, you know, if he's as, he has a leg to stand on and stuff. But it just seems very, very bizarre that he's doing it this way. It just seems very strange. And also, for me, I just feel like if you're Brendan, you already get the hate that you're getting anyway. You don't need this. Why are you pursuing this lawsuit? Just knock it on the head and keep it moving, brother. These guys are never going to like you. For the most part, you don't agree with the people that don't like you anyway. You don't think they have a reason not to like you. You're never going to meet each other in the middle. Just let them exist as they are. And you coexist as you are. You've got your fans. People like you, what you do. They come to your shows. They clearly watch your special. They buy tickets because, again, tickets is not something you can fake. You can fake views. You can fake engagement and followers. That's easy to do on social media. But you can't fake tickets. He clearly does sell some. Maybe he doesn't sell out everywhere. But he's definitely selling some. If that's the case, let the guy just live. Let him live and keep on moving. But he wants to silence the internet like because they're not praising him. Because someone just dared to clip all his bad highlights on podcasts. So what, bruv? Who really cares, really, in the end of the day? It's not that big of a deal. Grow up, man. I don't understand this. It's so bizarre. It really is bizarre. But, you know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me.